bunch of support, baby. Let's go. I'm gonna go through all the new support. There's like 15 new cards. Baby Celine, a new Endymion right here. Oh, hoo -hoo. that is the new Endymion right there. I'm gonna go through every single one of them. So stay tuned to the end of this video. I'm gonna discuss whether they're good or whether they're garbage. Stay tuned to the end of the video. But if you do stay tuned, get a beautiful tune electro my class playmat on tripgaming.com because they're beautiful. And we also sold out of two players. So if you want a two player playmat, check out this bicep. And then after you do that, go let me message me on Facebook and I'll get you guys a two player one. Let's go. And one last thing to mention is that our stream schedule has changed. From now on, all streams will be on Wednesdays and Saturdays. Official tournaments will go down on Wednesday and catch the Saturday streams where I will play live in front of you guys, pendulums, and destroy different tournaments on Saturday. Anyways, with that being said, let's go straight into the new pendulum support, baby. The best X pendulum support. The best X support. So if you're the video, smash the subscribe button, and let's go! <laughs> First card, we got Magister's Grimoire Crawley. Again, stay tuned till the end of the video. I will discuss every card in depth and all their effects. This one is definitely looks like uh, invoked, uh, invoked support kind of, but it's uh, it's like its whole se its whole deck on its own, Magister's. So Magister's, uh, Magister's Grimoire Crawley effect number one. You can use each of the effects one, two, three, once per turn. You can send to the graveyard one spellcaster monster in your hand or face of field. Specialist card from your hand. Okay, so it's an extender. It's an extender that discards a spellcaster. Uh, or it gets rid of a useless one. So let's say Blue Boy gets Valored. You could just special this out. Uh, I don't think it'll be good so far unless it has. Uh, there's a new spellcaster that comes out that has a grave effect. You can declare one attribute. For the rest of this turn, this card becomes that attribute. So far, unless the Magistus cards... Again, I don't know the Magistus cards as much as you guys know. It's my uh, I, The only card I do know what does is Baby Celine. And another, uh, the, the one that looks like Magistus and the Magistus and Demian one. As far as that, my knowledge of these cards are the same as yours. So, uh, so far it looks garbage, uh, this card. You can banish this card from your graveyard. Target one Magistus monster you control. Equip one Magistus monster that is uh, not level 4 from your graveyard to that target. Okay, so according to the ones that I read, it, it, that is uh, this one. So, Magistus and Demian, they all, and the baby Celine, they all get effects when they target. So, the gist of the deck... I don't know what the other one does. I'll read it right now. The gist of the deck is it equips cards from your extra deck. Magistus cards from your extra deck to this card. And the, the, all the Magistus cards in the extra deck gets effects. So this one, as far as I'm concerned, sucks. So uh, the one that looks like Invoked uh, Alistair, yeah, you suck. Okay. Magistus Ver Kondrillion. If this card is no more special summon, add a Magistus Spell and Trap from your deck to your hand. Uh, hello, Servant of Endymion, anyone? Uh, this will be really good together. Normal summon, add a magic spell and trap. So I have to read the spells and traps. If there's at least one good spell and trap, that let's say if there's a searcher spell and trap, that would be insane. Because you could normal this card, search this one, which is really good. I'll explain what it does in a bit. And then when you get uh, the this, you summon and get more effects off. And pendulum summon it, really good. Uh, you can also return a banish to the grave. That's kind of bad. You can banish card from your graveyard, target one magic monster you control. Equip one magic monster that does not level from your graveyard to your top. Oh! Whoa! Whoa, whoa, whoa. This is really good. Okay. So, the main card of the deck is the Baby Selene, which I'll discuss. It's a Link 1, which you can go into with any Spellcaster. Any Spellcaster. So, that's incredibly easy for uh, literally any Spellcaster. Duh. So, after you make that, uh, you just like summon Blue Boy or something, and you do it, or Souls, or whatever it may be. And then, uh, banish this card, target. So, okay. So, here's the game plan. You normal summon this. Add a magic to spell a trap. Uh, then you go into Baby Celine. I'll show you guys the combo at the end of the video. I have a combo in mind. But so far, this effect is search the spell a trap. And then it can equip the Baby Celine to any of your Magistus monsters. So that is that is pretty damn good. That is pretty damn good. Let's just ensure Baby Celine is a Magistus monster. Yes, it is. Oh, God, yes. All right. So this is a good, this is a good card. Uh, the first card sucks. The Invoke Alistair card, it sucks. Uh, this card, it looks fantastic. Uh, so, Magistus Serenilian. Serenil uh, hello. Okay. Uh, next. Magistus Master Endymion. The moment we've all been waiting for. The Magistus Endymion card. A level 4 Water Spellcaster. Unfortunately, he's not a Pendulum, which I think Konami screwed that up. 
not making this card a pendulum card. But I'm going to show you guys a super cool combo with this card. So, uh, you can target one Magic Monster you control. Equip one Magic Monster from your extra deck to that monster. So, you target itself. And then you equip Baby Selene. Baby Selene's effect. If this card is equipped to a monster, add a Magic Monster from your deck to your hand. Are you guys noticing the pluses here? So, this card's a plus one. Add a Magic Speller Trap, which will then... Work very well with Servant of Endymion and Reflection of Endymion and Spell Power Mastery because you get a free spell card. And then this card, you can equip the Majesty Maiden, Majesty's Maiden Artemis, which is Baby Selene, uh, and get another plus. So you already plus two. And then after it's equipped, then you use this effect again. The second effect of Majesty's Endymion is target a face of spell you control. It could be a scale, it could be the Maiden itself. Destroy it and then draw a card and then put back a brick. That looks very good to me. So, so far, Magister's Master Endymion and Magister's Verse and Drillion are two really good cards that I'm looking forward to using in my Pendulum deck in the future. I just hope that there's some good magic spells and traps. I want this all out on Dueling Book. I will do a video for you guys on comp tutorials with this. But so far, it's looking like you could play triple Magister's Master Endymion in a deck with one Baby Selene, and that would be a good Pendulum deck. And you could throw in one of these for sure. You can just search it anytime you want. And I, as long as it's a good Magic Speller Trap, this is going to be very good. So now we're going to go into the Fusion over here. Uh, during the main phase, Kuka, so this is a one Magic Monster plus a Spellcaster Monster. Uh, the main effect you want to be concerned of is what's its effect when it's equipped. Uh, so its equip effect is useless. Gain a thousand attack, who cares? Uh, you don't need to get, care about attack boost because Mighty Master is going to blow up the whole field anyways and destroy your opponent. So not important. During the main phase, Kuka, you're going to target one other face of monster in the field. Equip this card you control to the target. Well, this card is equipped to important monsters uh, that monster can activate. So, okay, so this is like interruption. This is a magis Magistus interruption, which could actually work out well. We're just going to have to actually read the Magistus spells and traps. And maybe this card looks like Crowley. Could actually apply to like summoning it. Uh, but I'll let you guys know after I finish reading. So, so far, this looks like the interruption of the deck, which is good. Uh, next, you got the Synchro. The equipped effect is destroys the monster. Alright, the equipped effect sucks. This card is a synchro summon card is destroyed. You can destroy all face cards your opponent controls. Are any of these tuners? If none of these are tuners, then my interest is peaked. I it has not peaked. I don't care about it then. Okay, so yeah, I'm gonna pass on uh the synchro card. I think sucks. The fusion card is the interruption, but you're gonna have to play like a fusion for it, obviously. Fusion materials is a magicist monster and a spellcaster monster. Let's continue. So the XYZ here, uh, they're all level 4s. So the effect of the XYZ is you can detach one material from this card, target a level 4 or higher spellcaster in your grave, add it to your hand. You're, you're never XYZing this card, to be honest. Uh, it does not look that good. Uh, next, uh, monster equipped this card can make two attacks. Okay, so if it's equipped, it can make two attacks. If this card is equipped to a monster, you can target one monster card in your spell trap zone and one spell trap your opponent controls the sword. Okay, so... This is, uh, you're gonna have to play this in the deck because going second, this is just like a better Nightmare Phoenix. Uh, this is actually really good. This gives, this, having this card in your extra deck basically means that, uh, Magistus Endymion equals destroy a spell or trap your opponent controls or when it's normal summon, draw a card or when it's pendulum summon, draw a card. So it's like, it is a very versatile actually to be able to play one of these in like a Baby Selene. So I can actually see this being good, especially against trap decks. You can play Triple Magistus and Demon, and it literally equals Daybreaker. Or, if you don't care to pop up Trap, you can just draw a card. And then, it continues with more combos. Uh, so, next, Baby Selene. Level 1 or lower, four, four, level 4 or lower Spellcaster. Uh, if another Magistus monster's normal or special summon, while this card is already in the monster zone, you can target one of those monsters, equip this card, you control the target. So, that would be good to, let's say, for example, uh, so this is, uh, this is actually very good as well. So, Normal summon, the, let's say you don't open Magistus uh, Endymion. The combos, I'm thinking on the spot. Pen God, baby. Let's say you normal summon Cendrillion. Cendrillion add a spell and trap from deck to hand. And then you link into this. And the spell and trap, uh, you use a reborn spell and trap. I don't know what it does, but you know one of these are reborn spell and trap somewhere in there. Uh, so you use this, and then you special summon the Maiden. And then you can equip this to get another plus one. And then that's where you add the... Magistus and Demian. The Magistus and Demian can pop a card. So it's like, it's pretty cool combos you could do there. Uh, I just wish that at least the Demian card was a scale. 
But even though they're not scales, since Spellbook Blue Boy is scale, no. Like, you, does not mean you cannot play them in Pendulums. Uh, the Pendulum stuff, there's level 4 for a reason. You can summon them even with Abductor. So, so far, so good. I actually like what I, what I see. I could see this being well. And the fact that this is level 1 Light Spellcaster, you're playing it anyway as a restage. Oh, if only they were all level 3, you could play re summon them back with restage. But that's okay. So, so far, so good. I like what I see. Let's move on to the spell cards now. Uh, so far, they will have to have a tab on this deck. Everyone thought Endymion sucked before Endymion came out, but eventually you're just absolutely broken. So, uh, trust me, you guys should give this deck a little bit of... I know it's not direct Pendulum support, but it's indirect Pendulum support. And I can see it working really well with the deck. Uh, let's check out the spell cards now. All I know about the spell cards uh, is that one of them fuses, one of them special summons, and the other, I don't know what the hell they do. Uh, the first time each magic monster you control between a battle while it is equipped, then it is not destroyed. Uh, okay, so this is a continuous spell, which works very well with Magician Soul, so it's good it's a continuous spell. Uh, first effect is useless to me. I'll do the second effect. During your main phase, you can special summon one level 4 spell, cast a monster from your hand. I would have much rather it say from Graveyard. If it was a continuous spell from Grave, that would have been fantastic. But, not a fan. The special from hand, I don't know how that'll help us. I don't know. We'll, we'll continue. During your, uh, if this face-up card is sent from the spell travel zone to the graves, but some any number of magister monsters with different names from your hand. Whoa! Okay, wait a second. This is actually pre pretty damn good. This is pretty damn good, and I'll tell you why. It's pretty damn good because... Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> this is... Uh, whoa, whoa, whoa. So, alright. You can get a uh, free special... Let's say you have a hand of, like, a few magister... Oh my god, it's actually really good. So you see summon a random magistus monster. Let's just use summon the one that adds a spell or trap. So you add this one, okay? Uh, and then you activate this special, the one that draws the one. You draw one. And then, yeah, then you get a free plus, And then you Magician Souls it away in special more cards. It can help with Crowley as well. This deck would be really good with Crowley. Because of Triss Magistus. Triss Magistus basically means that uh, all the Magistus cards you're summoning are by special summon. This is special summon twice. So this is actually a very good card. And the fact that it's a continuous spell. So... I still hope that there's a searcher. Uh, my friend was like giving me a quick rundown. I don't know what, what card does what. But he just said there's a reborn and there's a fusion. Uh, he didn't say there's a searcher. I hope there's a searcher that he missed. I'm going to continue reading. I hope we find a searcher in here. So yeah. Uh, uh, and you guys, don't forget little shameless plug here. That if you're playing Magistus on a non-pendulum playmat. Get your playmats in the description below. Tripgaming.com. Thanks guys. Okay, let's go. Alright, so target one Magistus. This is a quick play spell. Quick, quick play spell. Target one Magistus monster you control. Equip one Magistus monster that is not level four from your extra deck, field, or grave to the target. That is not target. Equip one Magistus that is not level four. Okay. If a, one plus Magistus monster from each monster card type on your grave, equip one Magistus fusion synchro. Okay. Um, that's pretty fucking garbage, bro. The whole point of the deck, there's only two good cards that have an extra deck effect when it's equipped. And that is Nunurunu, which pops a card, which is not even a quick effect. And this, which uh, adds a card. So, you might as well just, you, I mean, you should be hoping to want to mate it anyways. It's a hard one's return. Um, so, I, I'm not finding the quick play. I think quick play sucks ass. Uh, for now, as long as they're going to release new Magistus cards in the future, and I expect it to be a searcher spell and, like, a better extra deck card. So, so far, so good. F okay, this is the fusion card. Fusion summon one fusion monster from your extra deck. Using monsters from your hand or field, including a spellcaster monster. If summoning a Magistus fusion monster, you can also use materials in your spell trap zone equipped to Magistus... That's pretty good. Whoa, so that's why the whole deck comes together. Okay, 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 okay. So here's, here's the game plan. Here's the game plan. You basically normal summon discard. You normal summon Magistus versus Drillion. Effect, add a mag No, or add some, any of these, it doesn't matter. Add any of them. You add the fusion. And then after you go into... Uh, so let's say, you start, let's say you start with Magistus and Demian. And Demian, Magistus and Demian effect. Equip... The Baby Celine. Baby Celine effect. Add this card. Draw a card. Equip some random shit with some drill with one of them. And then you add invocation. 
you do some cool pen, uh, like link plays, and then you're left with the random baby Celine, and then you use baby Celine. You also go into a baby Celine to be able to trigger its other effect to equip it, and then you use the invocation to bring out the interruption. The interruption is the fusion. So so far so good. You get a free interruption there. So invocation will get a free interruption. Again, I'll do more combos when that comes out. I'm doing book, and lastly, last card is uh, okay. Okay, this is the reborn card. Uh, target one level four lore magic monster and graveyard special summon it. If a magic card in your spell traps will be destroyed by an opponent's card effect, you can banish card from your graveyard instead. Okay. Okay. Free reborn. That's pretty good. It'll help with the deck. I'm sure there will be cool combos where you normal summon Cendrillion, you search the reborn card, and then you go into the baby Celine and reborn it, and then use baby Celine to search this. So it's like. I find that the uh, Cendrillion and Endymion, as well as... So, Cendrillion and Endymion, both go in the same deck. Ian, Ian, you get it? Like, they're fucking... It really in, me in, Endymion, Cendrillion, like the same card, okay? So, uh, those two are going to work well in Pendulums. Uh, well, we could play one Fusion if we want to for an Interruption. One XYZ and one Baby Celine, or maybe two Baby Celine. And then we're gonna, we could summon... We could actually play... Uh, I played three of the Cendrillion, three of the Endymion. We could play one Invocation, one uh, of Magistus, and maybe one. No, I'd say maybe one. One. I played one Magistus. Yeah, one Magistus, one Baby Celine, one X Y Z, three and three. That's looking pretty good, and it's gonna be like a really good plus engine. And plusing is what Pendulums are missing. And then the cool thing is, after you plus with these, you just go into Crowley and plus some more. So pretty cool. Like you're gonna Pendulum someone with like seven cards in hand. So that's a video for now where we just run down the whole deck. Uh, if you guys have any questions about this, feel free to ask me on Patreon. I answer all pen I have every and all pendulum questions, and I will gladly do so. If you guys enjoyed the video, smash the subscribe button. Consider getting a beautiful Triff Gaming playmat at TriffGaming.com because they are beautiful. And we will see you guys in the next video and expect a Majesty's Pendulum deck coming out the second that is released on Dueling Book. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. We'll see you in the next video. Peace. Yeah, yeah.